not a week goes by where I don't get a question regarding some sort of family pet. Um, and it's either parents who want to get a pet for a child who already has other allergies or they own a pet and want to know if they can keep the pet. Usually it's pretty obvious when a child has a pet allergy because the symptoms come on so quickly after exposure to that pet. So they play with the dog or they pet the cat and they immediately start coughing or wheezing or their nose starts running. The problem is when you live with a cat or a dog every single day, day after day after day, those allergies can turn into more of a chronic phase and you seem to have allergies all the time so even when you leave the house the allergies continue and you don't see that your allergies get better when you leave the house and they don't get worse when you come back into the house so you just assume you don't have a pet allergy but that's not always true. Uh, another thing that parents will do is they'll try to give away the pet for a weekend, say give it to a cousin or an uncle and the problem with that is that cat or dog hair could last in your house for at least six or even nine months after the pet is out of the house. So just removing the pet for a couple days without resolution of symptoms doesn't mean that you weren't allergic to the pet. Um, so sometimes it's a little bit difficult and, and we do have to oftentimes do pet uh, um, allergy testing and that's probably one of the, the results I look least forward to giving to families because then they have to decide whether they want to keep the pet or get rid of the pet that's already become a member of the household.